Flavor Kids show where we talk about everything fun under the sun. I'm Sabu and this is Sandro. <laughs> what is Sandro? Sandro is not a guinea pig, he's not a hamster, he's not a porcupine or a squirrel. Sandro is a hedgehog. So what makes Sandro different from all those other animals that I mentioned? A hedgehog has what we call quills. These pointy things. Hedgehogs use quills when they feel like they're being attacked. So it's protective. They start to roll up and become a ball. They also use quills as protection for landing if ever they fall from high places. Today we're going to learn a few things about Sandro and his family of hedgehogs. Hedgehogs are nocturnal beings. What does nocturnal mean? Nocturnal means that they're active during the night. Can you think of other animals that are also nocturnal? Owls are nocturnal. That's right. Yes, bats are nocturnal too. And if you have brothers and sisters that are in college and have lots of schoolwork to do, they're probably nocturnal too. Hey Sandra, you're so cute. Baby, you're so cute. This is Sandra, he's so cute. So as you can see, Sandra is not threatened by me. But the first day that I met Sandra, we weren't this close. I had no idea how to pick him up. I'm honestly still kind of nervous about picking him up because I'm scared to get quilled um, and when I use this just to caress his tummy the quill thing it does happen and see so I just don't want that to be my finger no thank you so right now I'm just gonna put him in his so right now I'm just putting his I'm putting this bucket inside this thing um, before we have more time to bond and I really do want to bond but you but your mom's gotta make some bread and get some bread for you mister but and I really do want to bond but your mom's gotta make some bread and get some bread for you mister so I'm gonna miss you I miss you already. I can't even feel you or touch you. <laughs> so today we're going to learn how to pick up a hedgehog. When you pick up a hedgehog, you have to pick them up from the bottom because they are prey animals. What does that mean? They're usually being hunted. So there are other animals that want to eat them for some reason, which is also why they're very scared most of the time, which is why they need quills. But if they trust you, their quills won't be pointy and go up. So you have to build that trust. To pick them up, you have to pick them up from the bottom, from under, because you don't want them to think that you're gonna eat them <laughs> or that they are your prey. Love you, Sandro. So for baths, you should only give hedgehogs baths when they're dirty. Since Sandro isn't dirty, I'm not gonna give him a bath today, but I will show you a clip of Sandro taking a bath. hedgehogs eat. Hedgehogs are insectivores, which means they eat insects like worms and crickets and all those things. But because I don't have access to crickets and worms, what I give him is simply cat food. Actually, Sandra really loves dog food as well. I mix up the cat food and the dog food and I also got this thing which is an insectivore diet pellet stuff which Sandro also eats. <laughs> okay, I love you, Sandro. Did you pee? He peed. Sandro. Okay, so Sandro just peed. He's very active right now. Maybe he wants to play. So what do we do when we have active time? I don't have a wheel for Sandro, but I usually let him out for like his walking time or his play time, which is usually at night. Since he's awake now, come and enjoy some play time with Sandro. Green is for Sandro. Oranges for me. Alright, ready? Set, go. <laughs> Where are you going? Pick one. Okay, pick one. Okay, here. Okay, my camera died, but Sandra won. <laughs> he won on this line. 
Okay, so now we're gonna fix up Sandra's home. It's pretty clean and empty right now. For bedding, we use this Gypsy Classic. So right now, I can't find Sandra in the room. Honestly, more than tic-tac-toe, the game we play is guess where Sandra is. We play hide and seek. It's important to know where hedgehogs want to go. And hedgehogs love tunnels. That's why he has a tunnel over there. They love tunnels. They love small enclosed spaces. They love clothes and going through like piles of clothes. And right now, it's an area behind my bed which I put up to shoot this. I feel like I really have a strong feeling about this that Sandro is behind this bed squishing his way into like a dark corner over there. Let's check it out. Okay. So this is my bed which I put up. Is he here? Oh my gosh, he's not here. But there he is! I knew it! Sandro! Okay. Love you, Sandro. I'll pick you up when your home is ready, okay? I love you. And this is actually the last of it. All right, it's ready for Sandro. Okay, baby, it's time. Oh, nice, you pooped. Okay, <laughs> nice poop over there, Sandro. Oh, yeah, just really have to get them from the bottom. Look at him, trying to turn it over. <laughs> Come on, Sandro. Come on. Okay. Yeah, you guys haven't seen him as a ball yet, so. This is how he looks like as a ball. Hey, cutie. I know he looks cute, but he's actually really scared right now. But look at that cutie. Okay, come on. It's ready for you. Alright. Here you go, babe. Love you. I'm gonna put him in a darker space right now because it's obviously sunny out. And again, he's nocturnal. And I have to clean some pee and poop like a pet mom. But that's all that we have for today's favorite kids show. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!